Hello everyone. Well, we all know the story of the Emperor's new clothes. A pair of weavers made the Emperor a fine suit that everyone could see, other than those unfit for their position or incompetent. No one would admit that they couldn't see the Emperor's clothes, which all acclaimed with, for their beauty and magnificence. That all lasted until a young child called out that the king wasn't wearing anything. Some laughed, then everyone laughed, and the truth was out. There weren't any clothes. Fortunately, today we, lived, we live in more enlightened times. Ever since industrialization and the coming of our modern scientific worldview, civilization has advanced immeasurably, not just in the brilliance of its engineering and the material well-being of its citizens, but also in our new rational outlook, which has changed society forever. Well, bollocks it has. If the world were soundly based on rationality, I wouldn't be able to tell you why one theory, the climate is changing and we're responsible, which is based on well-established science and backed up by the work of thousands of scientists and the testimony of indigenous people, is probably accepted by about the same number of people in the UK as a theory that the measles, mumps and rubella vaccination increases your chance of getting autism which is based on one or two peer-reviewed papers and refuted by more and more extensive studies. In fact, the reality is, scientists have done the opposite of a weavers. Rather than creating a theory that no one wants to deny, they've created one which no one is willing to accept. If we accept that our actions are changing the climate, then we get all the angst that is entailed with that decision. Do I fly on holiday if, that, if this worsens or even threatens the lives of people who can least afford to adapt, adapt to the impacts? What about my heating my house with oil? What about driving to see my friends? It's all a bit unpleasant if we accept the reality. <clears throat> Unfortunately, humanity is running towards a cliff where dramatic changes are a real and increasing possibility. We don't know how far away the cliff is, or how great the fall, but what we do know is that if we keep appealing to rationality rather than humanity, if we fail to accept the, rationality, the reality of climate change insofar as it is a political concern, is a social construct, we will end up living with a very real and physical consequences. Understanding the social, socially constructed nature of climate change discourse, we must realise that making climate change something less awful for people to accept is going to be just as important as presenting the science. Does reducing emissions mean better food, healthy, sexy people, less air pollution and more efficient houses with lower bills? When it does, we might find we have a politics that works. <laughs>